ourselves in um, those type of situations and and learn and build on how to how to conquer them and overcome the adversity that, that comes with us. Is there some kind of mentality you guys have? We did it twice today with goal line stands. I mean, short yardage stops. Is it a mentality you guys developed in preseason or something? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I say just with the entire team, it all we all say it all starts in the trenches. So dominating the trenches, control the line of scrimmage, and then everything will play out after that. How do you get your head right after you give up a long scoring drive? Now they're going to go to win it. How do you get your head right to make sure? Okay, you got to make this stop. This is a windshield mentality. Um, there's nothing we can do to, to change the last play that happened, so now we've got to handle what's coming upon us now. So um, just not focusing on, on the bad that just happened. and Because, again, we all like, we're like, game's not over, game's not over. It's fine, we're fine. And we've been saying that all day. So just putting the, the bad plays behind us and, and learning to move forward. For you personally today, you had like nine or ten tackles, a couple sacks. Uh, what, is it, what is it about you right now that's got you playing at such a different level? Oh, I'm just playing within the system, um, doing everything, everything that um, is brought in my position that I'm playing, and just playing within the system. And the plays that come to me, um, I try to make them to my best ability, and the plays away, um, just running to the ball and maybe something behind. Coach said that uh, the best part he saw was you in there breaking it down there in the locker room and how you kind of got the guys rallied, you know, get ready for this coming week. And kind of, he said that's what impresses him the most about it, those kind of things. Yeah, so I'm, we have a really young team, so we need guys, we need the older guys just to keep the focus where the focus needs to be. So just giving them words of encouragement and how we need to take on this next week, I feel like that's really important on, for um, our defense and our team as a whole to go. How big is the bye week? I mean, having an open week right now after you got a pretty good scare, uh, how good is it to have an extra week now to kind of digest that and look at that film and, and fix some things? Uh, I think it's at a perfect time. Um, five games. We get to now go back and look at what our mistakes have been and, and learn to grow our team. And um, we get to heal up and, and get a little bit of rest under our belt. Just because we've been going hard ever since August 1st. So I would say this week is huge, as big as any week, just for just for how it's gonna it's just gonna help benefit us as well. For you, for you I'm sure you want to win every game by 30, 35, but to have a one point game, how much can that help you when it comes to January when you are playing against you know, playoff teams. Uh, adversity is always good. Um, the pressure, I love the pressure. I always believe pressure makes diamonds. And I told the guys that. I said, when they scored, I said, pressure makes diamonds, fellas. So but now let's just lock in and do what we do, and everything will be taken care of. Last year, it was Syracuse that kind of propelled this team and caused the team to grow up. Can this be that game? Yeah, so this is the same time this happened last year um, with Syracuse. And la with last year's team, we were, re we were a really mature team, real veteran team, and after that, we all we just took off from there. Um, I, I believe that game helped focus us, and ever since there, we just took steps and build and build and build and build and build and became as good as we could possibly be um, when it came down to it at the end of the season. So um, I believe this team, just just with the kind of people we have, that it'll be the same situation. And everybody's so humble and always so eager to learn and get better that this just self scout that we that we do, everybody will understand the mistakes that we made and learn to put them behind us so we don't have to make them again. You guys talk about how hard it is 